far on this most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This game being played at Wembley Stadium, which is, in the eyes of so very many, the venue as far as football is historically concerned. And we rise now for the English national anthem. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. A mouth-watering game, this, between two very high-quality sides. A treat for everybody here. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and... That's a fine start in itself. So off we go then. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, I'm going to go for the little wriggler, that is Raheem Sterling. Uh, his small frame and, and pace gives him a real advantage over bigger, slower defenders. And his turning sharpness is another very tricky part of his game. And he's a handful. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. And it's Kane. Marco Verratti. Chiesa. Jorginho. Chiesa. Things have been frenetic in the early part of this game. A lot of action high up the pitch. And it's Immobile. Phillips. England have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Out to the right. Walker. Stur Sterling!
England take the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Marco Verratti. And it's Insignia. Italy are seeing plenty of the ball at the moment, but still they trail. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner. Jorginho. Chiesa. Italy are trading here with the first half almost done. Across the field it goes. He's managed to get that all wrong. Sterling. Stones. Just five minutes left until the break. Kyle Walker. Phillips. And here's Kane. And it's Sterling. Bonucci demonstrating fabulous determination. And there's the end of the first half. Well, there we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. We're underway again. Italy don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. Emerson. And here's Insignia. Emerson plays it over to the other flank. Chiesa plays it out to the flank. Back into the middle. Marco Verratti. Phillips. Italy is still the single goal behind. Stones. Stones switches it towards the other side. Shaw goes looking. Now it's Sterling. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. What are you thinking? Well, the stats are pretty telling here. It's hard to argue with the scoreline when you carry so little threat. Chiesa. Chiesa plays it in. Clear away. Got to throw it in.
It's a good, good finish. The odds were against him in little matter. matter. But I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had it where they wanted. Yet somehow, it's a good position, but it didn't seem It's really crap in business now. show it could go either way sure. it's a loose ball there will be a throw in for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Saka has it out wide and in space. And it's Walker. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Ball is over the line. Dick's one in. Is it out of harm's way? Delivery from Walker. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And that is it. There will be penalties. Well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints, really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal, and it always lacked that spark. So we've gone the full distance here, nothing definitive, and we will be back shortly for a penalty shootout. Right on the edge. Feel the moment. Insigne first in line. And he puts them one up. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. And stepping up, the skipper. And the keepers come up, Trumps. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. And the lead is two. England trailing by two now. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. Oh, he saved it! Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. England can't afford to miss another one. No, it's...
it's been saved. I think the keeper's done really well to save that, and he deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. And he delivers! Italy were taken the full distance and then some, but they got there in the end. Well, there's really nothing quite like the excitement of a penalty shootout, and they'll be absolutely delighted to have edged it their way. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.